Hello everyone and welcome back to Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. I am Wishblade and we're getting another summary of what the hell is going on around here. A theriocracy, the goddess of Shira, oh dear lordy, and hello Sanaki. My goodness, your eyes look weird and creepy right there. I'm just gonna say it right now. I already said it, so I'm not saying it right now, I said it right then and there. What am I talking about? I don't know! Welcome! Oh my god! I haven't recorded for a while, so if I'm a bit rusty, now you know why, because I had, at the moment I'm recording right now, I have, in the past few days, had to get myself a new graphics card and everything, because the old one died out after almost five years. So there you go. It's been a while and I've missed recording so much. <laughs> It's so good to be back! And yeah, basically, like always with these summaries, it's just... There you go. This is what's going on. We're going to the capital of Sien... Or something. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce things. Also, this place looks very fancy. It has a gigantic tower in the background. The tower looks like that one from the, uh... The intro thing. Is that the intro tower? Is it going to be special later on in the game? I don't know. Dominates the sky, the guiding tower, so that's what it's called, I guess. Hello, guiding tower. Ooh! So the goddess rests at the top of the tower, like a princess being guarded by a dragon. Are there dragons over there? No. The dragons are in Goldoa. Not here! In this wee capital of Benyon? No! That would be absolutely ridiculous to assume such a thing. Mainal, home of the Apostle. I'm guessing that's Mainal right there. Or however again you pronounce that. Otherwise we probably wouldn't be focusing on the building. It looks very grand and stuff. Confusing? Oh no, I don't want to be confused. But I do know one thing. We're going to chapter 14. Training. Then again, I don't want- I don't want to- I, what? I don't want to train! I don't need training! What the hell are you talking about? The Manal Cathedral! Indeed, that is indeed the Manal Cathedral, as I suspected! Hello, Alincia and Sanaki! So what are we doing around here now? Yes, she has, indeed. Does she have any proof? I don't know. So, uh, don't you believe her, or something? Oh, what's going on around here? What are we talking about? Yes, you should have. Mm-hmm. Well, that's good to know that they actually do their job. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. So... Yeah, exactly. So what kind of proof do we have? Nothing at all. Great. All righty then. Mm-hmm. Well, that's just great then. So far, we've just trusted her word. Oh, Yeah, what are we to do? I have absolutely no idea. Will you know, Ike? That's because you're a nice guy. But then again, do you really know? And why? Why, Ike? How could you possibly know this? Sure, you can trust people and everything, but really? Really now? How do you know? How do you know? Hmm, yep, that sounds about right, which is kinda weird, but... Yeah. I have a feeling that would be very, very bad for a normal human being. Or Bjork being. Also the goose for that matter. Also suddenly, angelic choir of religiousness. Or something. I totally forgot about that. Well, it's neat. Yeah, that, that is actually true. Dan does kind of want her dead a lot. So you know what? I suppose that is somewhat proof. Unless they've also been tricked by her deviousness. Woo! Uh-huh. Yes? Yes? No surname. Nope. He's just Ike. Ike of the Grail Mercenaries. There you go. 
not all of them have to be poor. Just because they're commoners doesn't mean they can't have a... a bit of money or something. But it's nice to see you smile, Sanaki. Um... What? Who... what are we talking about? Maybe he is. Are you a royal knight, Ike? No, you're not. Absolutely not. Just a simple commoner. Oh? Oh. That's because Ike's a good guy. Just listen to him. He's such a wonderful man. Eh, true enough. Hmm. Yeah. Also, they tried to kill us, so we kind of had to just go somewhere else. Otherwise, we'd be dead. Really? So... Maybe that was also kind of a motivational factor for us? Motivational factor. That sounds so wet. Hello. That sounds so weird. Also, you look like an asshole. Well, because he's Ike. Ike does not give a damn. Because he's very bad with all the... I don't know. The courtly stuff? I don't know if that's a word. Or if that's a proper word. Halt! This silly, I don't know, priest-looking dude. Sever hey, Severin! Yes, we've met Severin. Yes, he was the, um, the, um, the, um, apparently prime minister of Benion. We've met that guy. Yeah, exactly, that guy. We rescued him. Maybe he can vouch for us and stuff. Disguise? Hmm. I suppose. He didn't look that noble and regal, I suppose. I guess, maybe. I've already said I suppose, and it seems so weird when you say I suppose. Or something again. Okay. It seems weird when you say the same few words again and again. Like, I suppose, I suppose, I suppose, I suppose. In a normal sentence way. You catch my drift, I'm sure. Hello, Sigrun. How you doing? Oh, and what does it say in these reports? Hmm. I um, I kind of hope they were, or they knew, or something, because really, it's like someone's so important, and they have Pegasus Riders. They can just fly up in the air and look down and be like, "Okay, hello there." <laughs> Always so very bored. That's just sad for you, Sanaki. Wow, jeez. Are we just here for your amusement? Oh wait, hello. I'm sorry, people, but that's a fat man. I'm sorry. Maybe it's Cartman. Hello, Cartman. Are you an asshole? Maybe you are. You look evil. Well, that's because your eyes are like... What is, what's the word for that? Squinted? You're squinting your eyes? Is that the thing? I don't know. It's something. Duke Oliver of Tannis. Oh, yes. Hi. Um, yes, you go and do something. What ruse? What are we talking about now? I'm not really paying attention, I'm just being silly. Well, I'm kind of paying some attention, but not that much, because I'm just talking about random stuff. Why? I have no idea. Hello, sir, Hetzel. You look nicer than the other two. So maybe you're not so bad. The others, they just look like buggers. Absolute buggers. Oh yes, such an honor. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Um. Indeed. Right. Madness. Madness. This is Benyon. <laughs> oh, how wonderful then. Couldn't we just have gotten to that point before? Instead of going through all this silly bullcrap. Alright, fine. Okay. Thank you, Sephiroth. If I find him, I'll have to thank him. Oh. What's up, Mike? You look angry. Your pose looks different. Um, I kind of hope she did, but I don't know.
kind of did. She kind of did. That, that's actually true. It, it really isn't. You're being a very selfish little kid. You know? Mm-hmm. It's kind of being invaded right now. Probably not even invaded anymore. It's taken over by Dan. So really? Mm-hmm. No, you got he got a point there, Sinaki. He's got a point. And you you're you're just kind of making fun of her and everything. It is kind of true. So really, you're you're being kind of a bastard. Yo. <laughs> Ho ho ho! I, you could get yourself executed so easily. Uh, maybe you should calm down a little bit. Hey, Lacane, I thought you went off with Oliver and Hetzel or something. You, be quiet. No one's talking to you. We're talking to Sanaki. Shut up. Indeed she is. She is currently speaking. You're not being still. Hush now. Oh really? So are you gonna give an apology? Kinda is. You're so devoted, good sir. Uh-huh. Sure thing, Sanaki. Angelic choir! <laughs> uh, a little bit. You are being kind of a... Kind of a douche, Ike. Just a little bit. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, 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 wow. Hey, that's not nice. It's not nice to say such things. Wow, jeez. You're so kind. Uh -huh. mm. I guess you make some kind of a point. Both of you people are actually assholes right now. Ike, you're an asshole. Sanaki, you're an asshole. Ike, you're just a rude one. And Sanaki, you're just being a goddamn leader of a country. And you're just... Ah. It's called... I think it's... What? I think it might be called politics. Okay, bye. Bye. Off you go, Sanaki. I'm not sure I like you really. You're okay, but I still not I'm not really a major fan of you right now. Resting and relaxing sounds like an awesome idea. Sanaki, go away so I can rest. And just hang out. Courtly games of wooden words. Ugh. That sounds absolutely disgusting. Hmm, yeah. I guess they're pissed. Yeah. Like I said, she was a bastard. <laughs> yeah, Empress, Apostle, whatever, something. Annoying as hell. Hi, Titania, are you gonna be the voice of reason now? Or Devil's Advocate? Or something like that? Maybe she kinda did, potentially. But... But she's still being rude. But I don't care. They're be she's being mean. And I'm sure all the other people, Oliver and the Kane and Hetzel, they were also kind of mean. So I don't like it here. Can't we just get ourselves a wonderful army and then we'll kick some ass? Mmm. Yeah. Kinda would, eh? It's true. So that's why I said I should maybe be a little. You know, a little more careful with what he was saying. Uh-oh. It is madness, but it's also Benyon. I already used that joke. Stop it. Yes, maybe. It just might be a thing. Hey, Soren, are you going to be pessimistic? <laughs> Letting madness rule the day. That sounds entirely dangerous. Mm-hmm. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. They are the commoners and the nobles and everything. Like, oh my. Ah. It's disgusting is what it is. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I don't like the system. I'ma fight the system! Hello, Alencia. Yeah, that's a good Ike. Apologizing and everything. Happy music! It was beautiful, very courageous and amazing. You stood up for her. You stood up for your princess. Oh, that's so sweet. She's so happy. Alencia is wonderful. <laughs> that's fine. Just take the compliment, Ike. Just take the compliment, and then everything is gonna be good. Yeah, you kind of did, but we're gonna take it back. Somehow, eventually, at some point. Why? Because I want to. Yes, we were. Because you hired us. We're... We, we at least do our job, so... You're quite welcome, I guess, maybe. Ooh, getting on a first name basis. It would kinda. Also, you're still calling him Lord Ike. In that case, you should call him Ike. What? You did? When? Something? Did you now? You didn't even know what the hell we were saying, Ike. What the hell is the? What the hell's wrong with you, man? No, apparently not. He was too angry. Oh, hey, music. Where'd you go? You sank. Come back to me. Yeah, okay. Let's go rest. Let's go lie down and everything. Oh. Her heart is filled with wonder. And now, we're gonna get a summary. MVP Jill. <laughs> well, neat. Godfrey is not a new ally. He's just an old one coming back to us. So he does not go on the list. Oh well, it's okay. No casualties, no permanent damage or anything? Nope. We are absolutely fine, and we shall also be fine as we move on to the next chapter. But first, of course, we have to do a little bit of preparation. And we'll do so by going to support and having a look around. Anyone here? No. Mist and Jill. That's one I wanted to do, so sure thing. Hello! Hi Jill, are you still being a racist? What? Why Why were you looking for Jill? Are you gonna give her food? Maybe? Because? Ah, you're kinda like Volk. Not joining us, but then again I can understand that. You're like, Dan and whatnot. Oh, that is so sad. If you just stop being a racist, then everything is gonna be good. Yeah. Just don't be a racist, because otherwise we're gonna kill you. He says that, but... Clo Close to your age? What kind of an age do you two have? Like... How old are you people? Really? Now I'm curious. Like, what about Mia? And Nephany? And Ileana? Um, okay. Apparently they're close to the same age. And apparently that's the end of that conversation, so... Yay? Alright then. Let's see what else we got here. Do I want to do anything else with Rolfi? Um... I'm gonna go ahead and say... Not with Mist anyway. I have other plans for Mist. In her entirety. Yeah, so... No. Moving on to info. Nothing entirely important right now, but there's a two. So maybe we'll get some advice from the servant. Hello there. Um, sure. I'd like to know something. Ooh. Uh-oh. Well, that doesn't sound good. Hopefully they're not gonna be our enemies. What? <laughs> what? What? Do you have a certain kind of accent, miss? Is that why you say what? Because that just seems weird. Alright, then how about what? Also, it's a lagoose. It's a lagoose, yes! Ugh. Always. Uh-oh. Maybe it's got a, uh... 
a uh, demi band, just like Seeker from that one mission in chapter 12. Yes. Hmm, or we could just kick their butts. Or throw fire at them. Or wind if it's a bird. Or lightning if it was a dragon. Although we haven't fought any dragons yet. Not really. I was about to have a hiccup there. That would have been annoying. Yeah, what a bore. I was about to... What? Um, what are... What's with your accent, my dear? I don't get it. Yes, they do. I know. And they're called the Goose. So please, just go away. Are we going to be fighting the Goose eventually? Potentially. Maybe. Serving wench. Wow, you're, you're mean. Wow. Why you got to be so mean? Just saying hello. Not hello, but hello. What? The new servants? Yeah. We're guests and... <laughs> oh, Croy! Are you Australian? Yes. That's that's quite right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Whoopsie! Someone made a dum-dum and I just walked away like... Step back, step back, step back, and turn. Yeah, yeah, um, maybe, but maybe it's gonna be fine. Country! Yay! Yeah. Hello, my good friend! Maybe he is. He met a very weird maid, and then he's like, I need some air. <laughs> oh, that's not nice at all. You need your fresh air, sunny boy. Yeah, why? What are you doing, Gatri? And what reasons might those be? Admiring the flowers. <laughs> I know what you mean, you silly bastard. Do you want to deflower some of those flowers? Uh huh. Those flowers. Mm hmm. Yes, exactly. <laughs> My goodness. Well, ain't that just wonderful? Oh, and I just like, whatever, whatever. <laughs> That's a good question. Oh, mmm, sounds wonderful. Yeah, Ike, do uh, Ike doesn't care. He's one of those guys who's like, I don't have time for being perverted and stuff. No. Let's talk to Astrid. Hey there, girl. How you doing? Are you still gonna help us or are you just gonna go home? Spoiler alert, she's still gonna help us. Um, maybe he is. Like, first he had a very annoying, or well not annoying, but kind of a weird maid. Then he got to listen to Gatri about flowers. <laughs> and who knows what he's gonna listen to now. Don't you? Apparently not. You seem very frustrated about the whole thing. Maybe Astrid can teach you a few things. Or Marcia. We're gonna talk to Marcia in a moment, so... Yay! Oh, that's not nice at all. They've lost touch of what's important in life for the Bjorg and the Goose and all the things. That's a good question. Let's get some backstory. Oh. Oh? Why? Why is that? Well, of course you want your life to be your own, I get that, but why'd you want to confront your family? Were they being bastards? Oh, really now? Well, you are you are only level one, so kind of difficult to maybe be satisfied with the whole thing. I mean, really, just... Level one? You haven't done much, really. I'm... I'm... What? What am I trying to say? I'm sorry I, I'm not going to be using you. It would be awesome, but... Nope. I already have Oscar, my dear. Oh, Really now? You're damn right I'll let you continue fighting. Mm-hmm. I like the sound of that, my dear. How many bow users do we have? We have Rolf 
And now we have Boyd, because warrior. And then you, so... Mm. Yeah. You're quite welcome, my dear. Now, Marcia! You wonderful... Marcia! Again with your eye. It's kinda blue right there. It looks like they're crying. Are you crying? That was quite a sigh, yeah. Mmm, yeah, I have a feeling. The game is slightly buggy on that one. And yes, you did. Hey. She called him handsome. That is so cute. Now what? Anything going on? Are you alright? If you say you're fine, if a girl says she's fine, it's a lie. Mostly, sometimes. It's a stereotypical thing. Or something. Just... Be mindful, if your girl says she's fine, be mindful. She was. So, yeah. Do, do you see any of your old friends, or are they all off flying somewhere? Oh, that's not nice. What? Oh, but you're a strong girl. You can do it. You... I think so, you had... You had a fame or a, a what? Yeah, you were searching for your brother. Also, you were felt kinda indebted to Ike for saving you. What? Um, what did he do? Did he do something dumb or wrong? Maybe we should. Or do you want to talk about it? You're not fine. You can come over here and let me give you a hug. That's what we can do. Yep. No, we don't want that. No. You need to be focused, my dear. Yes. Hmm. I don't know. People are just so goddamn different. Oh, my see ya. You need some hugs. It's what you need. Now. Before we do anything by moving further along, there's a little certain thing that we got in the last chapter, and where the hell is... Boyd. Boyd, you're right there. Now, we got an occult skill. And that can give us special abilities depending on your class and only promoted units. So in Boyd's case, as a warrior, he can get Colossus. In certain conditions, increases damage when units con constitution, yes, exceeds the enemies. So, I believe this activates per your skill. Just a skill, nothing else, just whatever amount of skill you have. So that's 16% chance to activate Colossus. And if his constitution, 11 right there, is greater than the enemy, his strength will be boosted by 25%. So, that is a thing, and you only get a couple of these occult scrolls. Therefore, you have to kind of choose what units you want to spend them on. I'll tell you right now, you can only get four. I'll just say it right now. You have access to four cult scrolls. And all these classes have... I don't know, some cl classes have the same um, occult skills, but others have unique ones. Like, Ike will have a unique one. Um, archers or snipers will have a unique one. And soldiers or halberdiers and generals, where are you, Gatri? They have the same one, so I'll talk about those when we get, when we have the ability to get them. Like we can talk about the one on Titania, although she can't really equip it right now because she doesn't have enough space. But she can get soul, and that goes for all cavalry, paladins, and whatnot, the paladins, stuff. Yes, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to explain things. Why am I trying to do this? In certain conditions, restores as many HP as the damage dealt to an enemy. Also activates per your skill, so that would be 13% chance in her case. And yeah, basically, you do 10 damage, you heal for 10. There you go. It's, it's fairly decent, it's fairly wonderful, and I don't think there's anything else to talk about, so let's... Stop with the explanations and just move on with more story stuff.